There was a time when I hid myself. At the onset of entanglement, I wrapped myself into a knot and huddled, brooding, in a cage deep beneath my ribs. But the knot frayed, and now, after years of trembling exertion, I have come forth, loosened, exhausted. And tonight, I realize softly in the darkness, I am transparent. The mass of my back as I lie facing away from you, always away, though I feel your breath on my neck and ache for it, should not hide me from you any longer. You can see through it, even in the night, to my pulse. The layers of knots I've added under the shoulder blades tied to my spine are nodules of pain, but nevertheless translucent, I think. And the silence of me in these unconscious hours is immaterial in the face of my heartbeat like summer lightning on your skin. In shadows and closed bedrooms, I like to feel heavy. My hands are cinder blocks on the mattress, but made, I suppose, of glass. My feet, icy pendulums sink into the earth through the empty space below me, are massive. I have always craved weight to back up my ambition. And when I feel your breath steady in sleep, I imagine myself swelling into a behemoth. My spine stretches into train tracks. My pulse is thunder on the horizon. I wonder if you feel the same terror when you are alone in the night of weightlessness. Mortality is to me a horrifying lightness, the fragility of a dried leaf before the immensity of the wind. Like the wind, I am invisible, undeniable. I lie awake, eyes wide, stretching my leaden, monstrous toes, and I want to turn to you and dig my swollen fingers into your flesh, rip you from impermanent dreams, and bury myself in you show you I am more than your sleep, bigger than my body, heavier than life.